In this episode I will build this iconic car. Hi there! Here it's the Raywell Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 GTI in 24 scale. To be honest, I did not accept such a good kit. A level of interior detail that is rare even in expensive Japanese kits. And even something I haven't seen before, ceiling detail. Clever design details. Engine hood interior details. This is also rare too. Window parts designed to be fit from the outside and individually molded. You are full of surprises, Mr. Ravel. Anyway, let's start with the fit tests as usual. As far as I have learned so far, the most troublesome issue in car modeling is the fit of clear parts with body. Well done, Ravel. You passed the test. But the car body is not as clean and flat as should be. But it's not the end of the world. A few minutes sanding job solves the problem. Ok, let's get start the build. I'm starting with cutting, cleaning and preparing the parts to assembly as usual. Yeah, Rayval recommends to do this. It's a rim design I've never seen before, but it works. Ok, let's prepare the car body for paint job. The detail lines are fine, but I still deepen them by drawing with a needle. I can apply primer to the parts, grey for the car body, black for the remaining.
After the primer has dried, I can now apply the main color. I think this contrast is enough to reflect the difference between leather and fabric in black. Thanks to Raywell for gives that fabric texture as decals. Let's add the other decals to the dashboard. I applied some flat varnish only on fabric surfaces to get more realism. Also, I painted some details with anthracite to get more contrast and highlight the details. These bucket holders are rare in a scale model car kit. Another rare detail, the seat belts. Again, you are full of surprises, Mr. Rival. These are enough for now. Let's build a GTI engine. Yeah, this kit comes with a highly detailed engine. And almost as detailed as expensive resin sets. I'll just add some... a few minor details and wiring. I wish the plastic and casting quality were a little better. It will be perfect.
For the spark plugs, I will be using leftover 3D print parts from my previous builds. For the distributor, I used 3D printed parts from the same previous builds. Injections Oil cooler and radiator. That's enough for now. Let's apply primer and aluminum paint. I painted the black details with a brush to give a thick paint layer effect. I used fishing line for the spark plug wires. Some details are missing on the fuel injection system. Let's add them. It would be better if I design and print in 3D, but it's still better than nothing. I'm adding some oil stains effect. Okay, let's get things together.
For this material, see my Mercedes 300 SL built video. The windshield washer hose. I'm applying some weathering lightly. And finally the engine is complete. The paint has dried enough and now I'm apply a thick layer of glossy varnish. After the varnish dried I sanded it and after truly washing the car body I applied another coat of varnish. I repeat this about three or four times. And it's Mr. Miyagi time. Wax on, wax off. I don't like to use decals on a car model, but I will use it this time as I trust the quality of the Rayval decals. After the decals were completely dry, I applied a thin coat of glossy varnish on them and polished them with compounds as well. It's time to paint black details on the car. For the last time I polish all surfaces with Tamiya wax and complete the polishing job.
the main assembly is a little weird, but with a few tries you solve the problem and the assembly takes place without any problems. Rayval has done an incredible job with this kit. I finished this model almost right out of the box. With more time and care, you can get a more detailed and better result. This is a very, very good base model for making a super detailed model. Well, thanks for watching this episode. If you liked the video, please like and share. Subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. Also, you can support my channel if you can see the join button below or on Patreon. The links are in the information section below. See you soon on the next episode. Until then, take care yourself and keep modeling. Bye.